Good morning, everyone. I, Gauri Dhyani, student of Delhi Metropolitan Education, welcome you all to the National Workshop on COVID Awareness in collaboration with Amity University, Noida, and NACSTC Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. Delhi Metropolitan Education, DME, is an A-grade premier educational institute affiliated to Guru Gobind Singh Indraprastha University and approved by the Bar Council of India. The institute offers BBA, BBLMB, BLMB and BAJMC programs. DME believes in imparting world-class education to its students by training them to develop and enhance their skills. DME Media School is one of the most promising media institute in the country. It offers BA in Journalism and Mass Communication. It is recognized as a school focused on growth of its faculties and students in academics and co-curricular activities. Major events and initiatives of the school include BG Verdi's Lecture Series, Peer-to-Peer -peer FDP, International Film Festival SIFI, International Conference ICANN, Vritika Convention of Media Students and Vibrant India Series WIS. I request Professor Dr. Susmita Bala, HOD, DME Media School, to kindly welcome the gathering. Over to you, ma'am. This workshop is being conducted by KME Media School today. I welcome Dr. Nyasa Parishal, Director of the Prasad and Chief Guest of this function. He has always been kind to us whenever we plan something of academic value. I welcome Dr. Minuvalia, a reputed oncologist and keynote speaker in this session. She has served the society in a big way by saving the lives of hundreds of ancient cancer patients. I welcome Ms. Aarti Dhar, a senior health journalist who has been creating awareness on health issues since long. I welcome Dr. Riti D. Kapoor, Associate Professor in MIT University of initiating this workshop through the collaboration of MIT University and finally, I welcome Mr. Dinesh Kapoor, Principal Scientist and Head, Vigyan Prasad, and extending a helping hand to us as always. I welcome all the students and our faculty members in this workshop. This workshop has been brought to DME by NCSTC Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. I am grateful to them. I am sure that this workshop will be great success with the active participation of our vibrant students and energy teachers. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your kind words. Dr. Ramli Saxena is an international acclaimed media professional, researcher, author, anchor, political analyst, and film enthusiast. In DME, he is working as a professor and dean of the DME Media School, director of DME Studios and Productions. I would now request Professor Dr. Amri Saxena, dean DME Media School, to kindly give opening remarks. Over to you, sir. Dignitaries on the dais, Dr. Nakul Barashi. Uh, who has always been uh, there, whatever we are doing from ICANN to CIFI and all other activities uh, that he uh, keeps on doing and he is an inspiration to us all. Uh, the way he works and takes up uh, human projects and accompl accomplish them with success. 
And uh, today's uh, uh, workshop is again uh, is, is being promoted, is, uh, has been brought to us uh, by the Department of Science and Technology and he is heading the campus up, uh, which is very much part of the DST. And uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Nimish Kapoor, uh, who was always there, uh, he has conducted many workshops, perhaps some of uh, I mean, you people would, all, uh, would have also attended the workshop, which was uh, uh, taken by him on fake news. Uh, Dr. Minu Olya, who is uh, making the keynote as he was also here earlier as part of this uh, Women's Day celebration that we had last year. And uh, the, the main person behind this uh, workshop, uh, Dr. Vicky uh, Kapoor. Uh, and today also we have uh, Ms. Artida. Uh, who is a science communicator and journalist. So the whole panel is such where there is a lot to be learned. And as far as health uh, communication is concerned, we all understand, at least uh, uh, in principle, we accept that this is something which is very, very important in everybody's life. But the kind of society that we have in India, we always neglect health. Uh, so whatever we do, uh, I mean anything which is there in our lifestyle, uh, we, we uh, right from food to uh, sleeping habits, eating habits and everywhere, we put the um, health at the last pedestal and that is why uh, we have been suffering so much and it's not only the question of pandemic, perhaps pandemic has helped us in understanding that how much health is important and that is how this workshop is also on uh, um, on health issues and health awareness uh, which are necessary to understand in the post covid time and uh, this uh, pandemic that we all suffered covid 19 maybe a one time thing we hope that uh, it's uh, not repeated and uh, no other similar thing uh, is struck uh, is like again but then now we can never be sure uh, in, in today's world that when what is going to happen so the utmost important thing is we change our lifestyle and we know uh, as to what all we have to take care of uh, in uh, maintaining our health and as far as the diseases are concerned, uh, we have to be aware uh, how can we, uh, we, we protect ourselves uh, in case uh, some, some health problem is, uh, is, is affecting us. Even if the health, uh, health problem is not there, we have to regulate our life in a manner that we can protect ourselves uh, before anything happens and uh, um, if we change uh, our lifestyle I'm sure that we can save ourselves uh, from so many diseases so today's session is going to be fruitful I am pretty sure and uh, with this I stop here I welcome everybody and I know that uh, since uh, in BJMC uh, this uh, separate paper is there on health communication uh, nowadays health is uh, not only important otherwise but as far as the academic curriculum is concerned uh, in uh, most of the um, uh, this academic curriculums uh, this is incorporated as a subject so in BJMC also this is one full paper obviously it's part of the, uh, the um, elective paper uh, but then majority of the students have opted for health communication. So this is something which is directly of application as far as their academic uh, performance is concerned. So I'm hopeful the active participation will be there and uh, everybody, each one of us will be learning something or the other in this session. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, now I would like to call my co-host Parmesh to take the session forward. Thank you so much, Gauri. I would now like to take this opportunity and introduce our audience to Dr. Riti Thapar Kapoor, who is an associate professor, MIT Institute of Biotechnology, MIT University, Noida. Dr. Kapoor received her PhD from University of Allahabad and worked as postdoctoral fellow at Banaras Hindu University. She has 14 years of teaching and research experience and her area of specialization is environmental biotechnology, bioremediation, wastewater treatment and abiotic stress. Dr. Kapoor has pub published seven books and over 105 research papers in various journals and national and international reviews. 
I now request Dr. Riti Thapa Kapoor to kindly address the gathering. Over to you, ma'am. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. सबसे पहले मैं मंच पर आसीन विद्वत्जनों का स्वागत करना चाहूँगी, डॉक्टर नतुल बराशा, डॉक्टर मीना वारिया मैम, दें डॉक्टर आरती धर, डॉक्टर अमरीक सिसिना जी, डॉक्टर शुष्मिता बाला मैम, प्रमोद पांडे जी और बहुत सारे फैकल्टी स्टाफ मेंबर्स और सबसे तैयारे मेरे स्टूडेंट्स। ये जो आज की वर्कशॉप this is the 11th workshop in series. We already conducted 10 workshops earlier in various districts of Uttar Pradesh. The main objective is to aware masses about the, you know, the COVID-19 and other diseases, uh, other viral diseases also, and the post-COVID conditions, especially the stress management. COVID to chala gaya, abhi fir a hai. Government is conducting the review meetings again and again just to stop such type of panic conditions. So, how do we do it? What do we do? And how do we write it? Because here are all media students who write it, especially for the lay persons. We have written it, we have written vaccine, but today, when I went to the remote areas, I saw the town, I saw the town, but today, there is a myth, a myth, कि हम तो वैक्सीन नहीं लगवाएंगे या हमने एक लगा लिया बूस्टर डोज का आ, क्या क्या जरूरत है या हम क्या हर साल वैक्सीन लगवाएंगे सो so, और या ये तो एक बिजनेस बन गया है लोगों में इस तरह की बहुत सारी शंकाएं कुछ लोगों ने कहा कोविड था ही नहीं इसे फैलाया गया या बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जो मुझे सुनने में मिली लोगों में बहुत सारी शंकाएं थी तो सबसे पहले मैं कहना चाहूंगी कि आप लोग सही इंफॉर्मेशन कलेक्ट करें कुछ भी हमारे पास मैसेज आ रहा है उसे आगे पास ना करें जब तक हमें ये पता ना हो कि ये मैसेज ठीक है कि नहीं है और जिसे पैनिक सिचुएशन क्रिएट ना हो फिर अगर मैं लाइफस्टाइल की बात करती हूँ जैसे हमारे प्रधानमंत्री जी कहते हैं कि आपदा में भी कोई अफसर छुपा होता है पहले हमने शायद वैसे हमारे बाबा दादी बोलते थे कि हल, मैंने तो पिया है हमेशा से मैं अपनी बात कहूंगी कि गाय का दूध और उसमें हल्दी डाल के रात में हमें जरूर लेना है लेकिन मुझे नहीं पता आप लोगों ने भी पिया होगा सबने लेकिन हाँ कभी कभी हम सोचते हैं अरे ये सब ऐसे ही है और काढ़ा क्या होता है बट ये सब हमने देखा कि लोगों ने जब तक हमारे पास वैक्सीन नहीं थी तब तक किसी तरह भी हमने ये आयुष मिनिस्ट्री की वेबसाइट में भी काढ़ा कैसे बनाए क्या करे और हमने ऐसे ही करके मास्क यूज किया हम घरों में रहे और हमने अपनी लाइफ को सेव किया और यही चीजें अगर मैं बात करूं टर्मरिक की बासमती राइस की नीम जिसे हम कुछ ऐसे ही लेते हैं या हमारे घर के आसपास भी नीम का पेड़ होता है लेकिन हमें तो कॉलगेट लेनी है क्लोजअप लेना है नीम का दातुन कौन करेगा और ये सारे पेटेंट हमारे बाहर वाले लोगों ने ग्रांट कर लिए फिर हमारे साइंटिस्ट ने एक लंबी फाइट करी हमारे गवर्नमेंट ने तब हम उनके पेटेंट रिजेक्ट हुए सो दे आर यूजिंग ऑल दीज हर्बल मेडिसिन ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन जिसे हम भूल चुके थे तो शायद कोविड ने हमें फिर से याद दिलाया कि हमें अपने वही पुराने जो ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन हैं या जो हम अभी तक नियम मानते आए हैं हमें एक बार जरूर फिर उसकी ओर जाना होगा और उसके बारे में सोचना होगा खुद अवेयर होना पड़ेगा और अपनी जनरेशन को अवेयर करना होगा कि हाँ हम फास्ट फूड की ओर ना भागे या और जो मल्टी नेशनल प्रोडक्ट सारे उनकी ओर ना भागे जो हमारे आस की चीजें हमारे गार्डन में तुलसी गिलोए ये सब हर्ब से एटलीस्ट हम अपनी इम्यूनिटी तो बूस्ट कर सकते हैं तो so, अभी मैं और ज्यादा बहुत लंबी बात नहीं करूंगी क्योंकि ये तो एक लंबी टॉक हो जाएगी आ, क्योंकि मेरे साथ यहाँ बहुत सारे एक्सपर्ट्स हैं डॉक्टर्स हैं मैं उनसे कुछ सुनना चाहूंगी और चाहूंगी कि आपकी जो क्वेश्चन है जो क्वेरीज हैं आप जरूर डिस्कस करें और लास्ट में मैं सबसे ज्यादा धन्यवाद डॉक्टर अंजी सक्सेना जी का डॉक्टर सुष्मिता बाला मैम का देना चाहूंगी लास्ट वीक की हमारी बात हुई सर से और सर ने बिल्कुल हमारा निवेदन सर्च स्वीकार किया और सारे अरेंजमेंट्स किए विच वॉज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर मी सब कर पाना सो थैंक्स अलॉट सर जय थैंक यू सो मच मैम
Next we have with us Mr. Nimish Kapoor, a television programmer, author and science communicator. He has been associated with Vigyan Prasad Department of Science and Technology Government of India for the last 19 years. At present, Thank you. I am a scientist or a science communicator. This is my question. Uh, Dekhri Ji Vandi Dayas, uh, most expected uh, today's uh, uh, guest, uh, Dr. Meenu Valiya Ji, uh, Dr. Nakul Parashar Ji, our 3-4 uh, person expert uh, communicator of the day, uh, Ms. Aarti Dhar, uh, Dr. Amrish Saksena uh, and all faculty members and dear students. I am a communicator and a science communicator and a health communicator which you will take in detail in your detail in your session that how to write and when and where to write and what to write. So, what Dr. Riti has told you is that we have to give you a card and a lot of things that we have to give you again but we have to give you a lot of things in our society. ये भी कम्युनिकेट हुआ कि जब हमें कोविड होता है तो हम कार्यक्रम करेंगे और स्टीम लेंगे तो हमें हम कोविड से दूर हो जाएंगे जबकि ऐसा नहीं था आपने देखा होगा कोविड सेकंड फेज में हर एक टीवी चैनल में दिन रात पैनल डिस्कशन होते थे और डॉक्टर्स एंकर्स डॉक्टर से सवाल करते थे कि हमें कार्यक्रम कितनी बार करना है तो आप जो भी सवाल करेंगे डॉक्टर से डॉक्टर उसका आपको रिप्लाई देगा अब आपके ऊपर है कि आप सवाल कैसे करते हैं और किस तरह से करते हैं तो कि एक चैनल में डॉक्टर ने अपनी तरफ से बताया कि आप जो ये बार बार गार्गियंस और स्टीम दिखा रहे हैं ये कोविड का इलाज नहीं है ये कोविड के समय या उसके पहले या उसके बाद अगर हमें थ्रोट इन्फेक्शन है सर्दी खांसी जुकाम है तो हम हमेशा से गार्गियंस करते आए हैं इसमें कोई नई बात नहीं है हमारे घरों में बहुत लंबे समय से जब से हम निवोश संभाला तब से हम देखते आ रहे हैं कि काढ़ा पिया जाता है लेकिन कोविड का इलाज नहीं है तो बहुत सारे मिस कम्युनिकेशन हुए कि आयुष मिनिस्ट्री ने जो कोविड काढ़ा बनाया है ये कोविड की दवाई है और उसमें बाकायदा भारत सरकार का एम्बलम और आयुष मंत्रालय का लोगो देखे उसको उस र्यूमर को आगे बढ़ाया गया और लोगों ने उसको एक्सेप्ट कर लिया कि हम काढ़ा पिएंगे तो हम कोविड से बच जाएंगे जबकि ऐसा नहीं है ऐसा नहीं था तो अब बहुत मुश्किल होती है जब ये मिस कम्युनिकेशन आपकी सोसाइटी में चला जाता है और लोग साइंटिफिक फैक्ट को किनारे करते हुए उस पर ट्रस्ट करने लगते हैं ठीक है अपने कि हाँ हमारा आयुर्वेदा या हमारा सिस्टम देखो इतना बड़ा कर दिया ऐसे बहुत सारे र्यूमर्स फैले आपके सोशल मीडिया में पॉंडिचेरी यूनिवर्सिटी के किसी स्कॉलर ने काढ़ा बना दिया डब्ल्यू एच ने उसको अडॉप्ट कर लिया आयुष मिनिस्ट्री ने उसको फॉलो किया तो ये सब चीजें उसका कोई आधार नहीं था तो आप जब कम्युनिकेट करें वो चाहे बात काढ़े की हो या अब देखिए ना एक छोटा सा वायरस ये वर्कशॉप है तो आप लोग इंटरेक्शन करेंगे कोशिश करेंगे कि हाँ हमारे एक्सपर्ट्स जो आपको बताएं उसको नोट करें टेक अवेज आप जब घर जाएं तो आपके पास कम से कम 10-15 पॉइंट्स हो सॉलिड जो आपको उसको फॉलो करना है एज ए जर्नलिस्ट या एज एन एडिटर कम्युनिकेटर राइटर तो आप पॉइंट्स टिप्स नोट करते चले अब छोटी सी बात ये वायरस किसी ने देखा वायरस को नहीं वायरस कितना बड़ा होता है बताएगा बहुत छोटा होता है जी माइक्रोस्कोप मैक्रो मैक्रो से भी छोटा होता है सर नॉट विजिबल कितना होता है कुछ अंदाजा है किसी को कितना साइज होता होगा सेल साइज अच्छा और सर एक सेल में लाखों वायरस हो सकते हैं आपके और बताइए एनी आइडिया ये है नैनो की दुनिया वायरस का साइज होता है नैनोमीटर आपने पढ़ा होगा मैथ्स में फिजिक्स में टेन पावर माइनस नाइन यानी एक मीटर अगर आप धागा लीजिए और उसके सौ करोड़ टुकड़े एक करोड़ यानी वन बिलियन है ना तो हंड्रेड बिलियन जो टुकड़ा होगा वो एक नैनोमीटर होगा एक मीटर डोरी के आप कितने टुकड़े करेंगे हंड्रेड बिलियन सौ करोड़ टुकड़े करेंगे तो एक टुकड़ा एक नैनोमीटर बनेगा और ऐसे सौ टुकड़े आप मिला देंगे तो एक कोरोना वायरस बनेगा इतना छोटा है यह वायरस जिसकी हम कल्पना भी नहीं कर सकते और उस वायरस ने सारे दुनिया के देशों को घोटने टिका दिए सारे न्यूक्लियर पावर्स और बड़े बड़े देश उसके आगे झुक गए और लाखों लोग चले गए इस दुनिया से तो इतना बड़ा चैलेंज उसके बाद भी अगर ये कहा जाए कि हेल्थ और साइंस कम्युनिकेशन आज अखबारों में 
होना आवश्यक है अब इसकी जरूरत नहीं है बताने की किसी को कोई भी चैनल ऐसा नहीं था जिसने क्या आज तक क्या एनडीटीवी और क्या जी न्यूज और क्या दैनिक जागरण या टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया या हिंदू जिसने लैंसेट के जर्नल्स को कवर नहीं किया जिसने इस वायरस को वैक्सीन को आपको नहीं बताया अपने लोगों को तो अब इस त्रासदी के बाद यह समय आ गया है कि अब हम हेल्थ और साइंस कम्युनिकेशन को अच्छे से समझें लोगों को यह बताएं कि आखिर वायरस की दवाई अभी तक क्यों नहीं बन पाई जो डॉक्टर मैम हमारे साथ है वो आपको और विस्तार से बताएंगे कि भाई ये वायरस क्या बला है बैक्टीरिया और वायरस में क्या अंतर है बैक्टीरिया को आप कंट्रोल कर लेते हैं दवाई बन जाती है लेकिन वायरस की दवाइयां नहीं बन पाती बड़ा चैलेंजिंग है वैक्सीन काम कैसे करती है लोग डर गए कि भाई वैक्सीन क्योंकि वैक्सीन बनने में तो दस साल लग जाते हैं अब यहाँ तो एक साल में छह महीने में वैक्सीन बन के तैयार हो गई तो बहुत से लोग घबराए और वो इंडिया में नहीं बहुत सारे अमेरिकन स्टडीज भी हमने पढ़ी तो अमेरिका में भी जो स्पेनिश पॉपुलेशन है फ्रेंच पॉपुलेशन है या अंग्रेजी बोलने वाले लोग हैं वो सब घबरा गए थे कि हम माने ना माने सरकार की बात सुने ना सुने फिर डॉक्टर की उन्होंने बात सुनी नहीं सुनी तो ऐसे बहुत सारे सर्वे हुए और वो हम भी घबराए आज भी बहुत से लोग हैं जिन्होंने वैक्सीन नहीं लगवाई है तो वो बात अलग है वो उनका निर्णय हो सकता है कि वो लगवाए या ना लगवाए क्योंकि कोई भी गवर्नमेंट उसको मैंडेटरी नहीं कर सकती है ना कि आप कुछ लगवाना है नहीं तो ऐसा वो कर देंगे ऐसा किसी ने नहीं कहा सबने रिक्वेस्ट किया कि आप लगवाइए क्योंकि अभी उसके उसको प्रूफ होने में समय लगेगा तो अब वो वैक्सीन काम कैसे करती है ना बहुत सिंपल सी बात है कि आप जब वायरस आपके यहां पे रखा हुआ है और आपके उंगली में लगा नाक के जरिए या अंदर लिया तो पहला कॉन्टेक्ट कहा हुआ लंग्स और आपका शरीर किससे बनाए सेल्स कोशिकाओं से और सबसे पहले वायरस लंग्स के सेल में गया और आपके सेल में क्या होता है दरवाजा होता है जो खुला रहता है जो भी बाहर से फॉरेन एलिमेंट आता है वायरस बैक्टीरिया उसका वेलकम करता है और वो वायरस सेल के अंदर चला गया और हर एक सेल में होती है फोटो कॉपी मशीन राइबोसोम होता है शायद और वो क्या करता है कि सेल को रिप्लीकेट हजारों लाखों फोटो कॉपी बन जाते हैं और आप कोविड का शिकार हो जाते हैं वैक्सीन लगवाई एंटीबॉडी बनी उसने क्या करा सेल का दरवाजा बंद कर दिया वायरस बाहर पड़ रहा बहुत सी जगहों पर गलत शबा की ये फलाना करने से वायरस को मारा जा सकता है नहीं ये गलत सेंटेंस है यू कैनोट केल दी वायरस वायरस डीएक्टिवेट है एक्टिवेट हुआ एक्टिवेटेड हुआ और फिर आपने सैनिटाइजर लगाया साबुन से हाथ धोए तो वो निष्क्रिय हो गया और पानी में बह गया वायरस तो आप मार नहीं सकते बिकॉज वायरस इज ए लिंक बिटवीन दी लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग तो ये सारी चीजें आपको पता होनी चाहिए आप एक फीचर्स लिखें रिपोर्टिंग करें डॉक्टर्स को इंटरव्यू करें और लोगों को आम भाषा में चीजें समझाएं तो यही मकसद है इस वर्कशॉप का और कोशिश करेंगे कि आप ये चीजें आपके करियर में काम आएंगी केवल आप यहाँ सुन के उसको भूल नहीं जाएंगे कि लोग नोट करेंगे और फॉलो करेंगे बहुत बहुत थैंक यू सो मच सर वी हैव विद अस मिस आरती हर सीनियर हेल्थ जर्नलिस्ट कंसल्टेंट सेंटर फॉर एडवोकेसी एंड रिसर्च न्यू दिल्ली Former deputy editor of the Hindu, Ms. Arthi Dhar is now a public health communicator and co-founder of the Freeja Development Foundation, a non-governmental organization for strategic communication. Ms. Arthi has been a facilitator for UNICEF in training journalists in public health reporting and was a lead mentor with Thomson Reuters Foundation in drafting critical appraisal skill course for health journalists. A pilot of this course was rolled out to be. select group of students at the Indian Institute of Mass Communication at New Delhi in 2015 the critical appraisal skills course for health journalists now being taught to mid level journalists focuses broadly on immunization mother and child and critical appraisal of research she has been involved as a content writer for unicef since 2015 for its immunization program in india i now request ms arti to kindly give her remarks over to you ma'am always a pleasure to interact with students particularly when it comes to health because public health is my passion uh, i will not say much here uh, except that i hope you will enjoy my session it's going to be interactive i have some exercise also and i really hope that you will participate in that exercise it might add value to your uh, uh, your course your understanding of health issues uh, it's a longish session so i'll keep myself brief here thank you Thank you so much, ma'am. I would now take to this opportunity and introduce the audience to Dr. Professor Meenu Valia, Senior Director, Anatomy, Medical Oncology and Hematology, Max Super Speciality Hospital, Bharpur Ganj, Vishali, and Noida. Dr. Meenu Valia is a renowned cancer specialist 
with almost 30 years of experience in treating cancer patients. She is the first DND medical oncologist of India. She has been decorated with various awards, namely Bharat Jyoti Award and Medical Excellence Awards by Indian Medical Association multiple times. She is the author of a hugely popular book among cancer patients, Tips for Happiness in the Shadow of Cancer. She is also a TEDx speaker. I now request Dr. Professor Meenu Bhavya to kindly address the gathering. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. And uh, before I begin, I must thank Mr. Amrish and the DMA uh, to be back here to give this opportunity to me. And I have been here earlier also, and it was really very nice interacting with you all. Uh, somehow, I probably in my I was traveling and I came back last evening only. I lost the real what exactly this was supposed to be so that I'm supposed to be a keynote speaker otherwise I would have prepared better and would have been done something to be to leave a more meaningful message so just now when everybody was speaking I just scribbled a few words which I wanted to speak and I still feel at least there will be some interaction and something meaningful that I can leave for the students and as uh, Mr. Amrish already pointed out that health communication has now become very important and I guess lot of you, lot many of you will also agree that COVID has a lot to do. Pre-COVID, we were not thinking the same way. So what I was given to understand is probably we are going to speak about how COVID has changed the world. First I will keep it in a Hindi plus English. So it is a more meaningful communication. It should not be a one-way didactic lecture. I will want to ask from you people how many of you feel that COVID has changed the world just by the raise of hands. So there are few people who still feel that COVID has not changed the hand, changed the world. Your hand was not. <laughs> uh, needless to say, the world has changed. So everything before COVID was pre-COVID and everything after COVID has become post-COVID. And I, to a large extent, I belong to a community which still feels that jitna marji hum kahen ki we have COVID is forgotten and the pandemic comes once in a century and this was one of the pandemics and probably now the world can come back to the near normal, the earlier normal. No, it's not like that. There is a new normal that has crept into our lives slowly and silently and we all seem to have a set. That is what the harsh reality. The other true reality is there. As already said, every crisis, every crisis, with every crisis there is a learning. And COVID has taught us also a lot. So if I talk about the healthcare industry, so COVID has not only taught the community, the COVID has also taught the healthcare industry. So if I talk, talk about the healthcare industry as healthcare professionals, what we have learned, we have learned a lot. How many of you know there was a branch of medicine, there was a branch of medicine which was also known as community medicine? With us by the raise of hands. So I don't see any hand here. So there was a branch of medicine which was also known of known as community medicine, the long forgotten branch of medicine. So when we were MBBS or internship, so after that, there is a posting during internship, after completing your MBBS, there is a posting that happens in all the departments. All the departments, basically, a MBBS, a basic doctor, has this understanding of what different departments are in different departments. So, what are the important postings that we had? Our gynae ops was very important posting. Medicine ki posting was important. Surgery ki posting was important. All these things were important. Surgery, ortho, ENT, ortho, all these things we used to be posted in these departments. I would work in the hospital in these departments for a few days. And in this way, a posting was done, which we call PSM, Preventive Social Medicine, or the Community Medicine, which we had to go to medical colleges in some remote areas. And that was one posting which we would say was the, like kind of, which was the least important. Everybody would mark it in their home. This is the least important thing. Adi bachche usme jaate nahi the. 
most of the students will not go, you were up here tennis like the other thing. And even later on in life, we used to always feel people who really don't want to make it big, they will go into cognitive medicine. But today, the world has recognized that cognitive medicine is very, very important. Even in countries like US, Europe, or all over the world, after COVID, community medicine has come in a big way. Because this is that long forgotten your own family doctor. You know, he is not a super specialist. He is not uh, a specialist who talk about big molecules and the big things. But he is a basic person who tells you what is the right way to live life, what are the right habits. And plus, a person who serves the community and understands what is wrong in the community. कौन से वेल में जिस एरिया में ये पानी किस वेल का पानी पिया जाता है या यहाँ पे ये वाटर सप्लाई है उसी एरिया में ये पर्टिकुलर डिजीज़ेस जा रहा है सो दिस इस समथिंग व्हिच एक्चुअली एक्चुअली रेवोल्यूशनाइज़ द वर्ल्ड व्हेन इट बिगेन द जैसे टाइफाइड जब डायग्नोस हुआ था सो हैव यू हर्ड अबाउ I mean, typhoid was once a very deadly disease and this was all in UK and nobody knew why it is happening. Or log ek particular area mein bimar hoi ja rahe hain, hoi ja rahe hain and ultimately they are losing their uh, lives. And what they realized that there was a there was a lady who was ultimately named as typhoid Mary and it is there in the medical books. And one community specialist realized that it was in one particular area people who have food and water there who are suffering and she was working in a restaurant and she was a waitress there and actually and she was a carrier of someone on a typhoid and that is what how was how the disease was being spread so this is the value of community medicine and it made to i mean so many i mean the world now knows what typhoid is something entirely treatable disease another important thing that these community medicine people which we attribute to is the first thing that we realized is that cancer is also not. Perikyotata we also to feel cancer is in your is inherited. It is your bad karmas and so many theories. Like ye wala blue blood or blue this black bile and all these kind of nonsense that used to happen. So again another very famous uh, physician who first noticed that what is happening that he collected his series of young boys, scrotum cancers, scrotum ke cancer, ka, scrotum ke skin ke cancer ke. Us jab bhi series ek saal ke dekhe, usne to cases dekhe the, to he made a, well, just made a list, just, I mean, applied his brains to that. What is happening? He realized that all of them are very young boys, pachya saal se chote chote ladke hai. All of them belong to a particular community. Particular community means at that point they were locked, they were not very, well of community, they were belong to the social uh, low socioeconomic strata, and all of them had one thing in common. And what was that one thing in common? All of them had the same profession. And what was that profession? That profession was they were chimney sweeps. जो UK में वो English chimneys होती थी, तो वो आपने देखो अगर वो छोटी-छोटी पतली-पतली chimneys होती, उनको साफ करना बहुत मुश्किल होता है। And at that time we used to survive, मतलब ठंड में उन्हीं chimneys के वो बर्तन survive करते थे। so what they used to use is बिल्कुल पतले से छोटे से लड़के use करे जाते थे जो चिमनीस को चढ़ के ऐसा करते थे। So they all had the common profession and then what was finally noted is क्योंकि उनका profession common था same age group का वही बच्चे use हो रहे थे और जब वो चिमनी sweep करते थे तो soot that is carbon वो जो burn होती थी नीचे को वो पूरी चिमनीस में जमी होती थी और वो ही उनके body ke areas mein jam jate thi and probably because they belong to that low sodium from strata where water and all these I mean these are all luxuries of life so shai ko clean nahi ho paate thi itni achi tarah se and the soap will remain deposited there and that will all lead to cancer also something like aise bimari jo cancer scrotal cancer which was life threatening so these are the major discoveries that were attributed to really studying medicine the right way or community medicine and that is what I mean as uh, media professional you need to know is where the value of community medicine, where the value of your general practitioner down the line that is there and where the value of right scientific observation and documentation comes. Because this will not come that I have seen that if people have drunk it, then all of them will be fine with COVID. Are we publishing that? 
I'll be giving that kara to thousand people, and when I am publishing that this was the age group of those people, all of them had COVID, all of them had this strain of COVID, these symptoms of COVID, and out of those hundred or thousand people, how many recovered and how many did not make it? So it is not the way I feel. The way I feel, and then suddenly I start going around and talking about it, and that becomes what is the fact. So such वो नहीं है जो जोर से बोला जाता है. Such वो है जो मेहनत करके जो साइंटिफिकली डॉक्यूमेंट करके जो लिटरेचर में हम स्टार्ट्स निकालते हैं और उसके बाद वही सच और उसमें बहुत बड़े सत्य होते हैं दिस वॉज वन थिंग आई से आई फील हैज बीन अ मेजर चेंज दैट कोविड हैज डन टू द हेल्थ केयर इंडस्ट्री इट इज अगेन मेड एस रियलाइज द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ कम्युनिटी मेडिसिन the importance of scientific documentation and the importance of getting results translated from this scientific documentation and the stats because stats never lie stats tell you the truth and that is where the the truth lies it will lie not in my odd experience ki maine ye dekha ki ye khane se theek ho jayenge ya ye mantra se theek ho jayenge it is like ki yahi agar 100 logon ne khaya to unke hamare kya results rahe what other things that healthcare industry realized as healthcare i will rather say we call as a super specialist because cancer specialization is after your mbbs and md medicine and then so many years and then you go into something like cancer and all these kind of things but everybody needs to prioritize so cancer earlier than that we as healthcare professionals we were not prioritizing for me every cancer patient was a cancer patient and everybody needed treatment and everybody needed treatment to save the of cost but suddenly when covid came and the world is so afraid and something is happening we really did not know and we had to sit down and i, I do remember that initially we had to spend hours to decide do all our cancer patient now need to come at the same time at the same appointments no we need to categorize those patients so there were few of them who had who had already been treated of cancer who were only on follow ups so why should follow up occur physically only when they have to travel they will be increasing the load on the healthcare infrastructure which was already constrained at that point of time why can't a why can technology be used to serve them at home why can't the basic test like an x-ray and ultrasound be done somewhere near their house and why can't we give opinions using technology so that was one prioritization when we realized that yes follow ups is something that will be the least of a priority right now covid is a priority and they need to uh, have all the covid precautions and follow ups even if it can be delayed it can be delayed and that is the way we started communicating to our patients but then because there was so much of miscommunication there were also patients on active treatment jinka har hafte chemotherapy hona hai har hafte every 21 days have to come to the hospital and suddenly you know ki wahan pe lockdown ho gaya wahan pe lockdown hua they are not able to travel aap daycare ke paas aapke paas staff hi nahi hai aapka aadha healthcare infrastructure ko lag gaya aapki aadhi nurses bimar ho gayi unko covid ho gaya aapke doctors ko covid ho gaya ye sab hua these are the real facts सो so, आप इनमें कैसे प्रायोरिटाइज करोगे इनको भी बोलोगे कि आप तीन महीने आओ जो ऐसा हुआ मतलब नॉट आई एम नॉट सरप्राइज बट सो मेनी इतना डर था कि पीपल जस्ट स्टॉप देयर ट्रीटमेंट सो दैट वाज द पॉइंट वेयर आई थिंक अ बिग मिसकम्युनिकेशन वाज हैपनिंग एंड द विच जर्नलिज्म शुड हैव प्लेड अ रोल बट हाउ हाउ एवर कुड नॉट प्ले अ रोल बिकॉज़ एवरीथिंग वाज न्यू टू द वर्ल्ड एवरीथिंग वाज कंफ्यूज एवरीबॉडी वाज कंफ्यूज एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो again uspe practice karna there was a group of patients who were curable malignancy stage 1 stage 2 malignancy jinme treatment dena bahut important hai because they would be cured they would be cured for life and they were going to be there for another 10 20 years so for them stopping treatment or delaying treatment would have been catastrophic so that was important for us to practice ki in patients ki treatment kisi halat mein nahi rukni chahiye chahe covid or no covid covid se to fir bhi we started communicating ki covid se to bach jaoge because the mortality rate is in 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 a fraction but 
cancer, the mortality rate is very high. So if cancer in that stage is left untreated, it has to be treated. So again, a prioritization from our side. And then again, there were few patients who were on palliative medicine, palliative cancer treatment, which could again be tailored. Tailored in the way we could put them on oral tablets with less frequent visits. You could put them on something different, immunotherapies, because there are some protocols which are two weekly, there are some protocols which are four weekly. So all this required lot of brainstorming, lot of development of new guidelines where the American societies and European societies, they worked on us and the Indian societies, we as Indian doctors also worked on, spent hours and spent days to come up with new policies and what, the, what was the second message that we learnt? Second message what we learnt is medicine has to be personalised. So not the same policies and the same, those are rules written in the books. So you have to change with the times, you have to change with the changing times, you have to change with whatever are the logistics at that point of time and you have to decide what is more important and what is not important. Third is our adoption of technology. Our adoption of, we as doctors started adopting technology in treating our patients. Like this, what I said, no, telemedicine has come up in a big way and still stays. It has not gone away after COVID. So COVID has changed medicine altogether. And third is we also started adopting medicine in the earlier year that we had to travel. We had to, if I had, if I wanted, uh, if there was a conference in Tata, Mumbai, so I would travel all the way to Mumbai. If there was a conference in America where I wanted to share my experience or talk to them. So I would have to travel all the way. We now realize that we can share because COVID, at the time of COVID, lot has to be learned and shared. Nobody knew how to manage COVID. So we had to talk to our peers, peers, all over the country, peers, international peers across the country and then we wanted to learn from people who are more experienced and how they are dealing and we realized that it is not necessary that we travel all the time rather than spending time in the mother rather than when it, at that time there was no choice we had to adopt, adapt ourselves to zoom and this telemedicine and all these things but that is also something feasible, practical, practical much more easier and post covid also now also lot of our healthcare conferences even now they are done by on with the help of all this uh, latest uh, technology so we no longer the healthcare education the impartment of knowledge the exchange of knowledge and exchange of experiences has been limited only by your physical presence at a particular time it has actually come a very long way and now it has stayed that way and then what I feel is the exchange of knowledge, I think it must be across all the lines, have become much more easier. Earlier what used to happen is like we are a teaching institute. So we have people, uh, young doctors who are doing, who are learning oncology in our institute. So they will be dependent, dependent on only two, three guides who used to be there in my institute. But once we adopted these new technologies, they can now have teaching sessions and can invite any faculty in the world and enhance their knowledge and they don't have to be dependent on the knowledge of just two three people. So I guess that must be across all the lines but this is how medicine also has changed. So we can have the best of the world to impart knowledge. And another very important thing that COVID taught was how it is important to be self-dependent when it comes to health. So being a superpower only as far as nuclear medicine is concerned, nuclear science is concerned or nuclear bombs is concerned or the financial health is concerned, it is also very very important that we are ourselves dependent on our, on our own infrastructure and Adhar Punawala showed us that. India is proud to be, uh, to be supplying vaccines to half the world. Brazil and all these countries, there was no vaccine available and we, were, we could not only cater to our own needs, but we could cater to the needs of the world. So that actually showed that had we not invested in healthcare technology in our home grounds, then we would have been dependent on the XYZs of the world to supply vaccines and our citizens and our youngsters would have not taken a priority on saving lives. So this is what I felt was the major changes in the healthcare industry and another very important healthcare industry change was the abuse, the misuse or the underuse of the resources. We now realize there has to be somewhere 
the right use of the right resources. We all know. I mean, there were things like oxygen langar. So, a simple thing like oxygen, how it was used and abused and misused, and how it was underused. A simple thing just to tie down a one crisis was so important, and how the things were kind of misused also. I mean, everybody getting CT scans done in a go, and suddenly you go, "Agya, ki bas CT karao, lagne changes ho jaate hain." You go, "No, ki sare CT centers mein CT scans hi ho jaate." Yes, there were some benefits. We could diagnose more lung cancers who were silent and incident lung cancers. But the world also learned that there is every technology. There can be a abuse and there can be a misuse also. Not everything is. Everything will have its plus and the minuses. We just cannot misuse technology just at the whim and fancy. That was also something which was very very important for all of us to know. that when to use and what to use and what was the right way so what has to be there has to be what is known as evidence based uh, medicine so for every investigation that we do what is the evidence that it is going to help me so how much is the evidence that it is going to help me and for every treatment that i do there has to be an evidence that it helps it cannot be my personal experience or your personal experience or i feel that way or i heard something or something and the responsibility for all of this comes on you so this was what i felt is how healthcare what we learned from covid but then i think a equally important in the bigger chunk was what community learned from covid so we being part of the community as human beings also as so we are doctors later and uh, fellow human beings first so i think three important messages that community learned one was that health is wealth second is that good health may come at a cost and third is that prevention is better than cure so i will just elaborate one by one health is wealth how many of you agree so there is a hindi saying that says pehla sukh nirogi kaya dusra sukh ghar mein ho paya so with no offense to anybody by name by the name maya here so health is actually wealth and i think covid a disease like covid made all of us realize that char ghar bana lijiye jitna marzi paisa aapke lockers mein pada hua hai kitni properties bana lo jo sari chhutri padi hui hai sab kuch yahi pe dhara hi dhara reh gaya hai aur jo gaye wo bahut jaldi se gaye bahut shanon mein chale gaye so the real wealth hum log kehte the par abhi isko mante nahi the the real wealth is your health and i have seen a change in the young generation in the new generation ki people have now started giving importance to health apne hum kya khate hain hum kya uh, jo hamara jeevan shaili hai because now we have started realizing that uh, it is better to be more proactive as far as health is concerned rather than we later repent ki sabse badi importance to aapki health hi hoti hai second good health may come at a cost so whenever crisis happens it is not necessary it is not that easy the government hospitals were overloaded the private hospitals also were overloaded there were hardly any beds available so uh, what is the major thing i mean i really appreciate that this is something that is a silver lining to covid that has changed in the mindset of people is people have started realizing the importance of health insurance How many of you agree with that? We never used to think about health insurance, especially in a country like India. बाहर तो होती थी, but health care is very expensive there. In a country like India, we never used to think that health insurance होनी चाहिए. Why is pain? Because बहुत pinch होता था वो चार हजार, पांच हजार देने के लिए health insurance के लिए कि ये use नहीं हुई, तो ये बिकार के पैसे हैं. तो today, the youth today, the public today understands. that since health is important and here in our country the entire healthcare infrastructure is doesn't is it comes as a cost majority of the good healthcare comes at a cost it is better to spend a 
through rupees on your healthcare insurances rather than not rather than to spend later. So this is a major change, and this will be my one take home from this also to all of you. If you have not got healthcare insurances done, then the right age is to do it when you are young and healthy. It is not that when you wait कि जब कोई बीमारी लगेगी तब करेंगे जब बीमारी लगेगी तो ज़्यादातर health insurances होएंगी ही नहीं because they will be excluded you will become an exclusion class. How many of you really know कि 60 साल के बाद health insurances नहीं मिलती तो 60 साल की अगर उम्र ज़्यादा हो जाती है तो health insurances नहीं मिलती है so it is very very important if your parents are less than 60 years of age Get them insured, get them health insurance then so next Mother's Day, instead of giving your mother a sari or a, a nice dinner outside, give her a health insurance package. That is going to do more help to her for years to come than a sari which she will be able to enjoy maybe at one or two occasions and which will probably cost the same amount of money. The same thing is, if you don't have health insurances, at this stage, you will get insurances at a very nominal cost and it really matters. God forbid, because bimari kisi ko bata ke nahi aati. God forbid if somebody, some disease, something strikes. We never know. So yes, pandemic happens once in 100 years, but there are n other different reasons that can happen. So one should always be, we Indians as a community, we plan for our old age, we plan for education, we even plan for a daughter's marriage, but we never plan for a one reality of life and that is sickness. I mean, how many of us will go without ever being sick? A minuscule of the number. So only a less than 10% of the people will be fortunate enough to be to die because of road accident or something else. But majority of us will have some or the other illness and that becomes the reason for our death. So why not save for it? That should also be one of one in our planning chart that is called as health planning which this concept is now socially uh, now uh, coming up and it should be the onus should be on you as young journalists to take it further to make the community aware because this is the biggest social service you can do even now we sometimes feel people from rural areas kisan jinhone kabhi socha bhi nahi ki hum bhi health insurance karne ke hum to bilkul bhale change abhi bhale change na we do not know the future so this is something which is very important and third that we also realized is that an ounce of care is much better in time, which is time is important, a stitch in time saves life. So our faith, our belief in vaccination better. Hame COVID ke time pe samaj aaya ki bimari hone ke baad larna bohat mishkil hai aur bimari hone se pehle larna shayad jaga achcha hai. So I will say as a healthcare what difference we found is we found that ki, yes, COVID vaccination ke time pe bohat sare drum the, bohat sare the ki itni research nahi hui and it has come. But majority of us accepted the vaccination. Majority of us, the educated class still went for the vaccination and that is the reason India in spite of its huge numbers, we could come out of this crisis. Because we accepted the vaccination, that means somewhere down the line we had faith in prevention and this is what is known as preventive health mindset which was never there in the Indians earlier. So we Indians were always, we don't want to think about the hospital, we don't want to think about the hospital, we don't want to think about the hospital. When we are ill, we will see that we also have that mindset that why do we do bad things? Because we think that is wrong. But that is not the way life is. So we have faith in vaccination. और उसमें हमें शायद कोविड वैक्सीन पे फेंक नहीं आया आज की डेट में डू यू नो देर इज अ वैक्सीनेशन फॉर कैंसर सो व्हाट वैक्सीनेशन फॉर कैंसर डू वी हैव सो सायमा शुड नॉट हैव आंसर बिकॉज़ शी इज एनीवे वेरी क्लोजली एसोसिएटेड विद कैंसर प्रोग्राम्स सो देर इज अ वैक्सीनेशन फॉर कैंसर आल्सो सर्वाइकल कैंसर so cervical cancer क्या होता है? Cervical cancer होता है बच्चे जाने के मुंह के cancer और इसकी अगर मैं stats बोलूँ, in our country every ten minutes a woman in India dies because of cervical cancer. This is the stats. And unfortunately or fortunately you say there is a vaccine available for this cancer, but people never thought about it. Now the acceptance for that vaccine is coming. 
Now, post COVID, people do come up, and whenever I talk about this vaccination, and girls come out and say, "Okay, अच्छा ये vaccination लग सकती है." So, what is the right age, and why should we not? Uh, why should we have this vaccine? So, that acceptance is coming. So, there are vaccinations for other diseases also. So, those vaccinations have now come up, and people are walking up and asking us. कि यस ये कौन कौन सी वैक्सीन हैं जिससे हम बीमारी से बच सकते हैं सो द ओनली टेक होम मैसेज वॉज कि इन इंडिया ऑल्सो नाउ वी एडवोकेट वी हैव इन एडवोकेटिंग फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम बट सर्वाइकल कैंसर वैक्सीन इज देयर विच एवरी लेडी शुड गेट एंड स्पेशली एट द राइट एज बिफोर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ईयर्स ऑफ एज इट विल हैव बेटर रिजल्ट सो दैट विल गो अ वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग वे इन प्रिवेंटिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कैंसर सर्वाइकल कैंसर Similarly, there are new cocktail vaccines, influenza vaccines, vaccines for some of the deadly diseases where we lose a lot of patients every year. So that is something that has come up. And last but not the least, the only thing, and I think that has been the eternal truth that has been taught by COVID. One that every war is first fought here. So whether it is a disease like simple viral infection, COVID. Or it is a disease like cancer. It has a lot to do. We have to win the war in our minds first before we actually win over the disease. This is the message I always give, and COVID taught us no less. I was sharing with one of the esteemed faculty here only. We saw that people were very scared in the COVID time. What happened? What happened? What happened? Somehow we lost them all, and people who remained calm and composed. And said it is a viral illness. We will come out of it. And you actually saw them walking out of that thing. So every war in life, every fight in life, everything it is, and even the smallest and the biggest of diseases, is first fought. It is very important that we first win the thing here, and we think that we can come out of it. Faith, the mental strength is very important. Again, the importance of mental training, mental strengthening. <laughs> And last but not the least, it also told us a very very important thing. Tell me, what is medicine? Medicine is art or science? It is both. COVID told us so much. Medicine is both art and the science, and it is the right combination. Many people died because they did not feel the warm touch of their of their caregiver, the warm touch of their healer. There was why were people afraid in the COVID wards? Because the doctors were there, the nurses were there, they were all scared. It was so big in that way, and there was no touch. There was a remote this thing, and that is something that was missing. So for the first time in ages, it actually told us that human relationships, whether it is that of a healer and the sufferer, or whether it is a family relationship. It is not dependent on not only science. It is also dependent on an art. There is an art and a science, and it is on a physical touch, the warmth and the faith, and the faith that comes from the warmth of my intentions. With that, I say thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much, ma'am. We are now also pleased by the graceful presence of Dr. Nakul Parashar, Director Vigyan Prasad, Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. With a doctorate in Applied Physics and Masters in Computer Science and Physics, Mr. Nakul Parashar has successfully set up three startups and taken them to possible profitability. Mr. Nakul Parashar has worked in Academia, Information Science (KPO), Legal Information Sectors, and has run diverse domain service. Setups with lowest possible cost infrastructure to produce highly profitable EBITDA. Mr. Parashar has been a university level researcher and teacher, business development leader, operation risk manager, and SME for content management for various domains like legal, STM, and general content. And now is serving as the director of Vigyan Prasad under the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. I now request Mr. Nakul Parashar to kindly address the gathering. Over to you, sir. A very good morning to all of you, uh, our respected uh, Dr. Valia, Dr. Thayar, Dr. Kapoor, and Dr. Ruti Kapoor, Dr. Ami Saxena, and Dr. Shikhar Bala. I and all of you youngsters feel very happy to be around with you, and particularly on a topic which is very close to our heart now, and it, it makes more sense for uh, all of us as communicators as. media people to write work and talk about it 
And in this regard, I think it's most important that uh, while you were in a pre-COVID, COVID and now in the post-COVID, and now we see a resurgence of all of this happening, giving an, an immense opportunity for us to be warriors in terms of communicating how this needs to be tackled, taken care of, stories about it. We've all heard about what uh, medicine is, and, and our forthcoming session, which I'm very excited, will have a lot of information on how to do this, will be very practically useful for all of you, particularly when you take this particular elective subject. And not only this elective subject, if you take this as, make it as your career forward. When you go on to do your masters in communication and journalism, I'm sure this will certainly uh, create a niche area for you. And let me tell you very uh, honestly, we've had discussions with the Capacity Building Commission recently, and we've been talking about creative, creating more than 100,000 jobs in science communication, popularization, and extension in the coming years to come. For a plain and simple reason, that science and technology is supposed to be something a driving force for a country's progress. And for that, it is important that the society that we work for is duly empowered with right information. And for that, you youngsters who are students of mass communication and journalism are bridges to provide that particular information to the masses in the format that is required. For that, the most and the first important thing is, is the language. So forget English, forget Hindi. If you, if you belong to a particular geography where there is a different Indian language that you work for, I tell you, this is the right time for you to go and grab it. English, Hindi, you can certainly write, you can excel, you can do that, and that should always be a forte. But besides this, you should create a niche for developing and doing that in your own Indian language. And these Indian languages not only are restricted to India or to this geography that you talk about, but to a larger, larger you know, set of people that live overseas. Indian diaspora for that matter. For example, if Punjabi is your language, right, in cash, use it, start writing it, right? You have a huge, huge, uh, you know, readership available all over the world. And once your written articles, your bylines are, you know, seen all over the place, you'll then be caught not only by people in, you know, Latin America, but other places as well. Why is it Latin America? For my personal experience, I worked in various geographies, and I worked in various, with various uh, news agencies for that matter. I worked very closely with writers for a long time, and that, that is where I recognize that there is one area in Latin America where there are a number of languages that are spoken besides English, besides Portuguese, besides Spanish. There are other local languages like what we have in India, number of Indian languages. That's where there is a great scope for whatever you write gets disseminated in all that matter. And for that matter, as Ma'am rightly said, health is a major, major topic. Right? And all these are basic words that are used all over the place. I'm not here to disseminate, I'm not here to prophetize, I'm not here to sermonize or to talk about the reality, but I'm here to talk about the most realistic thing for you as an opportunity that is going to come up. So, wherever you find, I was in Tejpur University, Dr. Amrish, you'll be happy to see, I was recognized by a number of students who were students from DME who had gone there to do masters. And it gave me immense pleasure that uh, your platform on ICON, ICON where I was there, they recognized me and then we had long discussions we talked about. And in this course of time, interestingly, they came up with problems that they would be happy to pursue their PhDs in. PhDs help you, uh, youngsters, I tell you, it's not something for your academic interest, but helps you get you that recognition to think in a different manner, much different from others. And Reuters and major news agencies in the world now look for people who got some kind of a research understanding that they can think out of the box. But system se bahar nikal ke out of the box opportunity in very large multinational media houses, news agencies are available. Usko abhi se tap karna hai. Aur us sab ke liye, aaj ka ye topic jo is hai, uska fayda uthaiye, kyunki medicine ek bada niche area hai. 
इसमें आप कितनी भी कोशिश कर लीजिए कितना भी कर लीजिए लोगों की हमेशा कमी रहेगी कमी है एंड फॉर अ कंट्री लाइक अस विच इज द मोस्ट पॉपुलर कंट्री नाउ इन द वर्ल्ड आई थिंक हेल्थ रिमेन्स द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट डॉक्टर धर का अभी आपसे बात करेंगे मुझे उम्मीद है कि वो सारे एक्सपीरियंसिस बताएंगे जिसके अंदर कैसे किस कितनी ज़रूरत है हमें और जब आपको खुद को समझ में आएगा जरूरत कितनी है तो मैं आपको इस प्लेटफॉर्म से वायदा करता हूँ यू विल नेवर हैव अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर अ ब्रिलियंट करियर इन डेज टू कम आप एक बार समझ लेंगे आप अपनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज खुद क्रिएट कर पाएंगे उन एरियाज में जाके इन बड़े लार्ज जो न्यूज एटीन है और टी वी एटीन है नेटवर्क है राघव बहल अरुणपुरी इन सब के पास आपकी एक आइडिया ऐसी जाएगी जिससे बहुत कुछ नया सोचने को मजबूर है यहाँ पे सिर्फ एक आम मास कम्युनिकेशन का स्टूडेंट बन के मन निकलिए यहाँ से एक नए थॉट प्रोसेस के साथ निकलिए एक नए रिसर्च के साथ निकलिए मास्टर्स करने में मजा आएगा और आगे जिंदगी को एक नए साइंटिफिक थॉट से तरीके से रिसर्च करने में आपको मजा आएगा और आपको जो आपने कोर्स लिया है उस पर आपको गर्व होगा आपको ये प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी कि मेरे एरिया में तो सेचुरेशन आ गया राइट ओवर हेयर राइट आई कैन यू आई एम ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ साइंस मैंने जिंदगी में डेली कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग में छः साल पढ़ाया पढ़ाने के बाद मीडिया में इसीलिए आया क्योंकि मुझे लगा कि मीडिया में बहुत कुछ करने का है एक छोटा सा एग्जाम्पल है छोटी सी स्टोरी है उससे अगर आप इंस्पायर हो सके तो आई वॉज हैप्पी गो लकी टीचिंग एट द डेली कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग टीचिंग फिजिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर साइंसेज टू स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी टेक और इस बीच में माई फादर हु वॉज अ कम्युनिकेटर हु वॉज डायरेक्टर पब्लिशिंग विद पंतनगर यूनिवर्सिटी वो उनको एक हार्ट अटैक होता है सर गंगाराम हॉस्पिटल के बेड पे पड़े होते हैं उनके पास एक प्रोजेक्ट था जिसमें साइंस पॉपुलराइजेशन पे कुछ बारह किताबें लिखी थी उन्होंने मुझे बुलाया और कहा बेटे तो मेरी कुछ किताबें हैं नहीं लिखी हैं उनको लिखोगे लिखोगे मैंने कहा ठीक है एक तो इकलौता बेटा और फादर अगर डेथ उस पर हों हार्ट अटैक पे हों और उसे कहें तो आप मना कैसे करें मैंने उन्हें कहा हाँ उनके चेहरे पर एक हल्की सी शरारत मिली मुस्कान किताबें छपी पब्लिश हुई यकीन मानिए छः महीने के बाद छः की छः किताबों को नेशनल अवार्ड मिला अवार्ड मिलने के बाद वो, वो, वो इसलिए कि एक, एक मन था लिखा था लिख दिया कर दिया पर जब वो किताबें अवार्ड हुई आपके अंदर एक नया उत्साह पैदा हुआ और मैंने कहा मैं रोज जो सब्जेक्ट रोज हर साल एक चार पढ़ाता हूँ उससे छोड़ के इसमें आता हूँ उसमें सोचता हूँ क्या करूँ I tell you, my journey for last 20-25 years has been creating opportunities for my own self. मैंने चार startups किए वो भी enterprise content management में, publishing के अंदर, media management के अंदर. बनाए, बेचे, बनाए, बेचे, बनाए, बेचे. Right? ये सब चीजें इसके अंदर बहुत कुछ करने को है. You can कल आपको लगता है कि मैं कुछ अपना startup करूँ, कुछ नया सोचूँ. तो medical एक ऐसा मेडिकल जर्नलिज्म के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं उसके अंदर बहुत कुछ ऐसी अपॉर्चुनिटीज है तो ऐसी बहुत सारी स्टोरीज हैं बहुत कुछ कहने का मन करता है लेकर इस मार्च ईयर क्लोजिंग है मेरी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज कुछ ज़्यादा हैं माफ़ी चाहूँगा आपके साथ मिलके एक बार बैठ के इन सारी अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ को एक साथ बैठ के डिस्कस करना चाहूँगा और आप सब के अंदर छुपी हुई जो आग है उसको इस वक्त जलाना बहुत ज़रूरी है क्योंकि आप लोग अभी ग्रेजुएशन में हैं आपके पास दो साल का पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन है और उसके बाद एक बहुत बड़ा एरिया है जहां आप अपनी हिस्ट्री खुद लिख सकते हैं और यकीन मानिए आप कोशिश करेंगे तो सब आपको देने को तैयार है क्योंकि पंडित मदन मोहन मालवीय ने एक बात बहुत अच्छी कही थी मैं हर जगह ये कहता हूँ कि देश के हर द्वार पर एक दाता खड़ा है पर कमी उन हाथों की जिनमें वो अपनी बेट दे सकते एवरी बहल एवरी अरुणपुरी एवरी पर्सन इन मीडिया राइट इवन रूपन मॉडॉक एवरीबडी इज वेलिंग टू गिव यू प्रोवाइडेड यू कम अप विद थॉट एंड एन आइडिया एंड कोई अगर आपके आइडिया को रिजेक्ट करता है तो हार मत मानिए क्योंकि एक जगह नहीं है हजारों जगह हैं जहाँ उसको प्रयास करें राइट और वो कोशिश कीजिए कामयाबी मिलेगी और इस सेशन को इस सेशन को अपने जीवन का टर्निंग पॉइंट इसलिए मानिए क्योंकि मुझे अच्छे से यकीन है इस बात का कि जो अब डॉक्टर आरती थर का जो आप सेशन सुनेंगे जितना मैंने थोड़ा सा उन्हें जाना है उन उससे जब आप लाभान्वित होंगे यू विल हैव अ न्यू फ्लेयर टू राइट न्यू फ्लेयर टू थिंक न्यू फ्लेयर टू क्रिएट स्टोरीज और रही बात कोविड की तो एक बात कहना पड़ता है इसकी एक अंग्रेजी बुक है राइट विच टॉक्स अबाउट टीका दर्स और सारी वैक्सीन के बारे में इतना मटीरियल है आप इसमें से निकालिए हजारों स्टोरीज बनती हैं और इनको भेजिए 
और अभी से बाईलाइंस अपनी इकट्ठी करने शुरू कीजिए इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक अप मास कम्युनिकेशन एंड जर्नलिज्म राइट सेज पब्लिकेशन ने अब अब पेंगुलर इसको पब्लिश करता है 299 हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी नाइन रुपीज की बुक है इसलिए नहीं कि आई एम हेयर टू पब्लिश मैंने खुद पढ़ा और मेरे को इससे बहुत कुछ लिखने को मिला राइटर ऑथर का नाम है सज्जन सिंह यादव भारत की वैक्सीन दाता है ये तो एन बी टी की हिंदी की किताब है बट इसकी इंग्लिश बुक जो है So unfortunately, we should be thankful that the the current regime is talking about promoting our Indian languages. इससे क्या होगा कि इससे आपको बहुत फायदा हो, सबको बहुत फायदा हो. और एक बात आप सबसे कहूँगा, छोटी पता नहीं सर से माफी चाहूँगा कि इनके दोबारा. But आप लोग एक story रोजाना चाहे छोटी हो चाहे 500 words की हो चाहे हजार words की लिखिए और social media पे post कीजिए. साइंस पे लिखते हैं तो विज्ञान प्रसार पर लिखिए जहाँ से निमिषी और मैं दोनों आते हैं विल बी हैप्पी टू पब्लिश किसी और लैंग्वेज में लिखेंगे विल बी मोर देन हैप्पी जितनी जल्दी आप अपनी बाइलाइन से इकट्ठी शुरू कर देंगे आपके रास्ते आपकी जिंदगी आपकी अपॉर्चुनिटी और बढ़ जाएगी और इस बात से मत घबराइए कि आपने जो लिखा वो रिजेक्ट होता है रिजेक्ट तो कई बार होते हैं बट वो जिसे अमिताभ बच्चन हमेशा कहते हैं ना मेहनत करने वाले की कभी हार नहीं होती तो आपकी कभी हार नहीं होगी इस बात का आप यकीन रखिए अपॉर्चुनिटीज की कोई कमी नहीं कमी नहीं है अपॉर्चुनिटीज हमें खुद बनानी और बनेंगी राइट right? और मैं जैसे मैंने शुरू से कहा था आई नॉट हेयर टू सर्वनाइज प्रोफेटाइज बट दिस आर दिस आर एग्जाम्पल्स वॉट आई हैव अर्न इन माई ओन लाइफ जिंदगी में बहुत उतार चढ़ाव देखे हैं जर्नलिस्ट को बहुत मुश्किल कई बार झेलनी पड़ती करनी पड़ती पर इसका फायदा होता है और अपना स्कोप अपनी राइटिंग इंटरनेशनल कीजिए राइट अपनी थॉट्स एंड आइडियाज को बाहर तक जरूर पहुंचाए और उसके लिए इससे बढ़िया कोई प्लेटफॉर्म आज के जमाने में नहीं है मेरे पास तो सिर्फ प्रिंट था आपके पास तो प्रिंट भी है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक भी है सोशल भी है डिजिटल भी है चारों का फायदा विद दिस आई थिंक आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट बट एक छोटी सी रिक्वेस्ट है कि डॉक्टर धर का जो आप सेशन होगा मैं बार बार क्यों कह रहा हूँ क्योंकि उनकी सक्सेस स्टोरीज इस बात से कहती हैं कि उन्होंने जब एक प्रोग्राम तैयार किया उसके तीन दिन तक कुछ नहीं जब चौथा दिन किया तो हज़ार स्टोरीज निकले इससे बहुत फायदा होगा इंटरेक्टिव सेशन है एंड आई थिंक फॉर फॉर विज्ञान प्रसाद वी आर ऑल देयर टू हेल्प इन सपोर्ट यू सर के साथ हम एक एमओ जल्दी करेंगे और वील मेक इट श्योर दैट यू ऑल गेट अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू बी विद अस ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू Thank you so much, sir, for such insightful words. Now, I would like to call Professor Dr. Amrit Saxena, Dean DNA Media School, and Professor Dr. Susmita Bala, HOD DNA DNA Media School, for the felicitation of guest. Thank you so much everyone.